Hey, it's Kevin here, and what I'm going to be doing here is going to be giving you a maybe a quick overview or a quick demo of how you can use Vector Art Tool to create sprites for the Spectrum Next. Now, what I'm going to be using is Affinity Designer, and it's basically like kind of a same sort of thing as Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's a very nice illustration tool. Uh, the great thing about it, it's super cheap compared to Adobe software. Um, scroll down. Pretty much it can do some pretty impressive stuff. It's a very good art tool. Um, and it's got a bunch of other options in there for isometric grids and so forth. Um, I'll share the price. Wow, whoppingly cheap. New Zealand dollars, so about half that number there. But it gives you approximately US dollar price. Anyway, I'm not here to promote the software. What I am here to do is to demonstrate the software. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go new document. And what I've done is I've set up a document um, here that's the same resolution as the spectrum screen. So 256 by 192 pixels, I'll set pixels here. Um, set to landscape, obviously. And I'm gonna go create. Okay, so this is basically uh, the equivalent of the ZX Spectrum uh, general general screen size, I should say. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start by giving it a grid with some nice guides and that show me, um, basically break out into 16 by 16 pixel areas. So for that, I'm gonna go uh, window. Sorry, I'm gonna go view, oh, bah. Um, <laughs> gonna go uh, grid and snapping uh, tool. I'm going to use a standard grid, make it uniform so it's basically the same on both directions. I'm going to type spacing to 16, and there it is in a 12 by 16 res, um, grid, which is about the same size as, say, a tile map in uh, the Spectrum X. In case you want to draw some tile maps in here. And I might just give it maybe uh, eight divisions because I like to have a little bit of a um, Let's just make those lines a bit darker. Reminds me of a mess book from school days. Okay, so what I can do is I can save that as a preset. Now I already have one in here that I set up, but um, I can save that as a preset um, if I'm going to be coming back and doing some more. So anyway, looks like my grid is a bit, uh, looks better when I zoomed out. Let's go back to our grid. I suddenly realized that uh, all of the colors or all the small grid details kind of look the same as the main grid lines. Let's uh, knock that back. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we have our spectrum scene here, uh, or screen, I should say, not scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to draw sprites using vector art software. Now, you're probably thinking, why would you want to do vector art? Well, if you're not savvy or, or feel comfortable drawing um, artwork using pixel uh, editing tools, um, such as, I'm going to bring this up, um, Really Sharp's really handy little tool set that you can find up here if you're not familiar with that. But if you've got a Spectrum Next, you've probably been here um, a gazillion times. Uh, I love this software, well, I should say this website, because it saves me having to find, download, and install software on my PC when I'm kind of developing stuff. So anyway, let's go back. Um, and what you can do in here is rather than using pixels, you can just draw it like a piece of artwork. So in this case, um, let's draw a circle. So draw a circle, if I hold down uh, control, goes from the center and shift will constrain it. Okay, let's um, wanna make a Pac-Man sprite. Okay, so this is pretty uninspired, but it's a, it's only a demo. So I'm going to say here is a circle, and I'm going to give it a fill color of a, it's a bit common, the grotty orange color. Okay, I'm going to have a stroke of nothing, because basically I don't want to put uh, a line around it. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to click copy and paste it, and let's make a second one. It's going to be like two sprites. One closed, one with an open mouth. Okay, so I want to cut a kind of a wedge out of this, so I'm going to use this pen tool. And lucky I've got my snapping on, that's like click in the center there. Click, click, and then close.
close that like that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, notice I have lips and this curve in the layers here on the right so I'm going to select lips make sure the curve is on top select them both and then up here we've got our boolean operations so in here you can go subtract and there is my other sprite now this does mean you can kind of draw a really nice looking artwork, you got nice clean lines, but how do you convert it into sprites? And will it look any good? Good question. So we can have a look by basically changing it to pixel mode, and it's this button right here. And there you go, 16 by 16 pixel sprites. But as you can see, they've got an issue, and that is the pixels are all anti-aliased, which might look nice on screen, but because the resolution of the spectrum screen is quite low and if you're putting this on say a 52 inch television set for instance that's going to look pretty grotty so i like to have my nice crisp pixel uh, graphics so what i'll do is i go over here to my layers on the right here oops and then press caps lock key select them and then up in here i have a little cog it says blend ranges and i'll click on that and what you can do is in this you have anti-aliasing setting and it's simple as going click and saying force off and then I can close the window and there is some nice pixel graphics and it does a really good job at making clean looking pixels rather than doing ones that can go a little bit wonky sometimes if you've seen some tools where you kind of like try and create a sprite like for instance 3d software um, and you'll find that what was a circle might have a few pixels different in corners now i can move this around and when i move it around it can get a bit wonky okay so i'm going to move it back in the center okay now this has got a nice option as well um, called pixel preview and what you can do inside here go view and view mode split view or the comma key is keyboard shortcut and what it does is it puts a split on your document half of it is pixels half of it is vector so you can kind of quickly check things like that so i can leave that there i'll just hit the comma key okay and let's say i want to make a few more sprites in here um let's try doing maybe a ghost Let's do pen tool in here. And maybe here. And let's just get a dunk. And the old snapping tool. Okay. Go to uh, select tool here. Then, oops, mode. I'm going to take uh, this. Maybe I'll just uh, move this in a bit. And this in a bit to be uh, nicer looking. Maybe I'll move this up to there. Let's select all these points. Go down. Boop. There we go. Oops. We don't do that. I'm going to select it as a whole, and I might just uh, size it a bit wider. There we go. And then, of course, it's going to have a fill color in here. So let's make it. Um, blue why not pretty ugly looking uh, drawing <laughs> always ask Kev to design your sprites for you uh, and I'm gonna do maybe a couple of eyes in here so I'm gonna use a circle I'm gonna give it maybe just the color for now just so I can see it white maybe I'll stretch that a bit so more oval like let's move it to uh, about there I'm gonna copy paste and move it to about there and there's some more sprites. Now if I want to, I could cut these out by clicking the boolean, which would make a, a ghost with no background. Or maybe I'll just leave them in there because maybe I want two colored white spots. Maybe I'll put some black bits in there to make little uh, pupils, but maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna group those just to put them into one layer, or one, so control G, there we go. Okay, let's hit that comma key and let's have a look at it. Okay, sweet. These are nice and crisp. This one here is anti-aliased. So let's go select it. Let's click on the cog. 
So it's one side, so you can see what it does. You can hear it. Four soft. Look at that. Nice and clean. Got a little bit of a glitchy pixel there, but that might be because it's slightly off center. And if I move it a bit, just a tad. If you get it in the center, you get a very nice clean result, as you can see right there. Isn't that nice? Sweet. There we go. Some nice, simple sprites. Okay, so I want to save this out. Zoom out of that. Let's have a look. Here's my spectrum screen. Right amount of pixels there. Oops, let's uh, get a bit more space. There we go. And there's a bit more space in there. There we go. Okay, so we just go file, we just go export, and just make it a PNG. Then we find, go export to, and go packy, packy, picky. Why not? That's a good name. Okay, you want to kind of cut these out, or the easiest way I found. And this is how I ended up using um, Remy Sharp's tools, is I was trying to build myself a tool to import graphics off PNG files and this just happened to have one so it saved me having to spend time with some uh, programming trying to come up with my own it's kind of a case of why reinvent the wheel and it's a great tool so it's probably properly written unlike the one I probably would have built so let's have a look um, kind of bring over my files here I'm going to click on the where's Packy Picky. I'm going to drag and drop it on here. Okay, so I'll just minimize that for now. Okay, so here it is here. What we can do, we can drag it around and we can use Control Shift to just line these up. Looks pretty good. Or Shift arrow keys to jump in blocks of eight. Now there are a three wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here on the uh, import auto repeat import and the same you having to click and then go copy in which will copy that image into here one by one um, then I have to click here and then I have to do the next one I'm going to use this auto repeat import so you can basically say how many across and how many down so if you've got like a, a block of two by three sprites you've drawn in a nice grid here and you want it to bring them kind of in in one go oh geez I do that Oh, I think I broke something. Ah, right. I did break something. I don't know what I just did, but uh, let's bring that in again. Oh, this pays to pay attention to what you're doing. I probably uh, just dragged it some crazy place. Let's uh, control shift. Yep, that's pretty good. So three by one. And I click copy in. Goes through and gets those three across and blonk 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 and puts them in there okay so I'm gonna go uh, sprite editor okay I wanted this transparent okay I should have set the background of my document to be transparent if I'd been clever I would have done that but of course I wasn't clever so it's easy enough to do in here you basically just use the fill tool like that and you can just pick the transparent color down there and click on the white pixels there we go and just around the ghost I'll leave these white okay so that's all ready to go so that's how you can use this vector art tool to create artwork if you don't feel up to uh, up to drawing pixel graphics with a pixel editor or if you prefer to try and draw some nice artwork for uh, for your game or for your project where it's uh, not going to be that easy to draw as pixels now there are a couple of other things I thought I'd quickly demo in here. Um, one is I've just been color picking and the nice thing about here is that when you bring it in it does translate that down to the spectrum uh, next color palette. Okay. So what I can do is if I want it here so I could color pick when I'm creating my artwork, um, you can import a palette here. Now the problem with um, this it doesn't support third-party palette uh, file types only its own affinity format so what you can do instead is go create palette from an image okay and what I've done is if you look under here on github under Stefan Byland 
he has a section on ZX Next BMP tools and under here he's put together a bunch of pallets. Now in here there's a pallet, the Spectrum Next pallet here, it says 512, um, I'm not sure there's actually 512 squares there but uh, I'm pretty sure there is. The problem uh, with bringing in here is that the swatches panel or the pallets in here only have 256 entries anyway. So anyway, how do you do it? Let's go select image. going to find that picture that I, I got off the website there. And I'm going to go open. And what it does is it goes through and it tries to extract out a palette from there. Now it's only got five colors, so let's just crank it all the way up to its max of 256 and click preview. And there is a nice palette. And that should be enough to kind of work with. So I'm going to go uh, create. Okay, I've set it. There's a, a couple of modes that you can use. Um, if you look at create palette from image, it had two modes. One has application, one has document. Okay, so application stores it and it's uh, presets, I guess, or preferences, so that every time you load up uh, Affinity Designer, that palette's going to be in there. Document does it for the document you're working on. Okay, so there we go. So now I have a bunch of color swatches that are actually next colors. Sweet. Okay, so anyway, there's that demo. I'll show you an example of um, the type of graphic, um, in this case, type of artwork that I was using this for, for my current game that I'm about to finish. Um, well, I need to finish. Um, and I just I wanted a cool looking logo. And of course, vector art tools, much easier to kind of draw this sort of stuff and put that kind of classic uh, light blues and pinks and hot pinks and stuff like that in here and do gradients and everything else. So it made sense to do it in here and then just export it out as pixels. So let's have a look. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Oh, I can just hit the uh, comma key. There we go. Okay. And it's done a pretty good job in translating that from the vector into pixels. So I can now use that, or I have used that um, in my game. So there's one of the reasons that using a vector art tool might be another really good, um, a really good reason to use one, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I might quickly slap in, uh, I think I do have a video, which I don't think is here. Um, I may have it under here to show you what that looks like. So let's go. Uh, it's under captions or screen recording galactus where are we gee there it is so this is what it looks like inside the spectrum next so it's running in c-spec and there's some uh, sprite graphics and as you can see there's a kind of a game there it just needs to be finished with uh, some levels as you can see well, hey i'm a winner and i'm ready to play again okay so i'll leave you with that so i hope uh, that was of interest um, and maybe it's inspired some people to take up some vector art tools. Um, you can download a, a demo from their website, or it's so cheap you could just buy it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop there, and I'll let you digest that, and I'll catch you in whatever the next video is uh, when I get around to it.